Hello, friends. Welcome. It's Big Deno. There is. There's a few chairs in here. Hello. Hello, hello. Crimson Brush 2024, day two. Andrew, welcome. Welcome back. We're back. Friends, we're back. We've, we are. we've gone 40 minutes early today because we're just excited. We're just excited about the, the weekend. We are. Um, let's go have a little bow peep at the uh, at the display stands. Yes, uh, that is 250 plus entries right now. We are on track to break last year's record. Another we record are. setting year. Indeed. And there's some cracking entries, isn't there? There is, there is. There's some... Um it's inter I love watching what trends every year. You know what yeah. what becomes popular. What do people take away from previous years and, and then implement into the, the the following year? And this year, last year we saw we talked about this a bit on the floor, haven't we? Last year we saw a bit of a bit of a push towards dioramas. There were some big dioramas. We did, yeah. This year it's been scaled down a little bit into Singles, sort of vignettes. Yeah, yeah, vignettes and maybe more single figures and what yeah. have you. So yeah. it's exciting. There's some fantastic entries this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing the judges dissect them yes indeed it's a bit of a rise of the 32 millimeter yeah, the this 32 year mil's gone ballistic it has it's very popular this year so uh anyway for all those, uh, for all those <coughs> people who love miniature scale stuff it's right there let's talk schedule for this year or let's this day rather so this is our day two schedule and you can see there we've got our roaming around with ben and bucks mm. now why don't you while this camera's off why don't you head to our roaming location sure thing and we'll just demonstrate what the roaming location is going to look like so uh, roaming with Ben and Bucks, it's right here. Bucks How about that? Here. It's not too bad, is it? Yeah, just grab Liam and say good day to Liam while he's. Who, you want me to go grab someone? Yeah, just grab. Look someone. at this. I'll grab Liam right now. Look at this. <laughs> quick, quick, say hello. A quick hello to the stream. Hi, stream. That's all we needed. We we're just showing them <laughs> what we can do. Liam's going to come on with us in a little minute from behind the uh, behind the booth, and we'll have a good chat with Benny as well. The but uh, the, the technology has of the been demonstrated. Cam, it is here. We're yeah. here to play. All right, let's go back. So that's fantastic. So that's going to be roaming around with Ben and Bucks, chats in the painters' lounge, and we're going to try and grab some first-time entrants and have a chin wag to them. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. We, we've also we, had some feedback that model models being displayed on here was a real win. Yeah, it seems that uh, people really enjoyed uh, listening to me gab about how much I like people's models uh, with the uh, with the help of Benny. So maybe we'll bring that back. We might bring back a different pair or... Yeah, or, maybe. maybe. We'll, yeah. we'll bring back some more. We'll, have a look. we'll bring back some more models and, and grab some different things and yeah. hopefully have some chats about that. One thing we will do definitely today as well is we'll be chatting to Andrew Long, uh, Arc organizer Open. for Arc Open, um, and he'll come and discuss a little bit about what Arc Open was about uh, mid last year, yep. how that event went, and uh, where they're going towards in the future. Indeed. So that will be in the first uh, hut for the day. Uh, we will shut the stream down somewhere in the in the one-ish mark, and that will be when we uh, we adjust for. Some might judging. say the feature uh, judging, uh, and then um, we'll yep. wrap it up for uh, uh, end of day two. Judge, judging live stream. So again, we talked about it at length yesterday, but it's something we're passionate about. Uh, opening up transparency of judging, bringing mm -hmm. people into what we do. Um, we've got three amazing judges this year, Dave Colwell, uh, Will Brightley, and the amazing winner of last year, Kyle, Kyle Morgan. So it should be an incredible judging thing. We're three quite different individuals um, with quite different perspectives on, um, on, on miniature art. So yeah. that's what we're always looking for in judges, isn't it? Indeed we are. Something we're, we're very passionate about in, with judging in Australia is cycling our judges as well. It's something that we something continue we should, to do. We should talk about, yeah. Mm. So we, we actually made a call, and um, when I say we, I said, I, I mean I, made a call that I would tap Seb on the shoulder and say, hey mate, uh, you're not judging next year. Seb has been a mainstay of the Crimson Brush and its predecessor, the, Cri the Crystal Dragon, as a, as a lead judge. And we decided to uh, we decided to pull him off because what we want to see is a variety of perspectives, mm. a variety of approaches, a variety of techniques. So something we have to be really mindful of, and and, and we encourage this is. Um with competition, uh, people do have a desire to win things in competition. Yep. That's pretty obvious, right? Yep. However, if you start to, uh, if you're judged, influencing, influencing you, through your judging what you look for in miniatures, people then might start to paint that way specifically for Exactly. The and I think if you look at, um, you know, when, when people know that I am a judge, mm -hmm. uh, there's a tendency to go towards big bold colours yep. and you mm -hmm. know big pieces and 
Mm -hmm. and, and what, what we are very mindful of is not influencing our scene to follow Creatively. any one mm. particular approach. Mm. So by varying our judges, you know, Dave, Seb, uh, Kyle, our international guests, mm -hmm. Natalia last year, Craftworld a few years ago, we create a very varied approach to judging, mm -hmm. which means that you know, we're not constraining people to follow a specific approach. No, indeed. Indeed. Now, um, there's, there's downsides to that as well, right? There is. The, the downside is Seb's not judging. Seb's you not know? judging. Seb is a wonderful judge. Uh, he will be returning to judging. He'll be... Uh, point, yeah. uh, Seb and I will be judging the Guilds Inn. Okay, uh, you're judging Guilds I am in. judging oh, the Guilds Inn. Mate. So, is, that a, is that a worldwide first here on and, the Crystal? Uh, uh, well, no, because we judged... Uh, we judged... Uh, lanterns... What is it? Lanterns? Well, yeah. 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 You know, but I mean... Oh, at, at, at announcing them. In, in, in an in-person one, yes, yeah. So, that's, a, oh, that's a world first, mate. Well yeah, done. It'll be teaching no, and then judging. So uh, that'll be a, a great experience. I'm really looking forward to, to uh, judging well, alongside Seb, with Seb. Seb's so. amazing to judge with. He's, yeah. he's got great perspectives and he's eloquent in the way mm. he describes things. So, But, you know, the, the great advantage of us cycling through judges, and I think the most important advantage, is we give those other people opportunities to enter competitions. Yes. Right? So we, we get to see Sebastian Archer possibly the greatest miniature painter Australia has ever produced. Yep. Well, uh, actually the most accoladed, to this day still the most accoladed international painter, I believe, uh, pretty close to. Very, cl yeah, I think Glenn Lamprecht won four Slayer Swords, technically might. All in Australia though, Seb won overseas. Indeed, so. indeed, yep, yep. Uh, plus, so cr plus crystal brushes. There's, there's yeah. arguments to be made. Yeah, there is, is, there absolutely. is. But there's, there's we love Glenn as well. Lee so. Carpenter, Victoria Lee Carpenter, Lamb. Very, yeah, very yeah, true. Very true. The number of, anyway, Sebastian Archer would absolutely be the uh, possibly the best painter that Australia has ever produced mm. and to be able to say hey Seb we'd love you to paint a piece mm. and bring it down uh, that's a real privilege and he did that a few years ago and he knocked everyone's socks off with mm. something that he'd sculpted and painted himself this time it's going to be a little bit different I think I think I think uh, if you if you've spoken to Seb over the weekend something he's talked about is uh, how much of a train wreck his piece is <laughs> well that but also that he he wants to be a man of his word, um, Seb has encouraged uh, creativity amongst uh, all things in, in his last three or four judging experiences. He's very big about creativity. Yeah. Creativity and is so, his main message that he drills on. Uh, I believe he felt that if, uh, if I am here asking people to be more creative, then I myself should be being more creative. So I, I respect and appreciate that. Um, Live by the sword, die by the die sword. By the sword <laughs> you know, appropriate. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a death by snoo snoo. I think it is. Shit, it's gonna be a train wreck. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, so look, mate, it's gonna be a great day. It um, is. The room's filling up already, so that's great to up. see. Let's have a look at the display stands. There's people chatting away. It's gonna yeah. be incredible. And that's what it's all about, isn't we it? We will we will probably kick off with uh, what do we think? Some models, or do we think? Oh uh, no, I'm gonna get chats? I'm gonna get Benny and Liam in here for a bit of a chat. Um, and then um, after that, we will do uh, some models and then we'll do some floor stuff and finish with Andrew or get Andrew in. Yeah. Again, tune in, stick with us. What The feedback we got is that a ton of you stuck with us throughout the day, even though there's breaks. Yeah. So we appreciate that. We'll, because We'll be trying to potentially today have slightly less breaks and slightly more cycling through different things mm. uh, but yeah we, we've we've also got an event to run friends so we we, mm. <laughs> we wear got, many hats yes yes you are wearing one right now i am a wonderful hat you're a hat wearing man but uh, one of the i don't, wear, I don't wear any physical hats except when i'm playing touch touch football yeah what do you wear a helmet do you uh yeah just i'm worried about falling over and but no <laughs> I wear a backwards cap, actually. Oh, dude. Oh, my, cool guy. Aerodynamic cool ability. guy, Denno. You're I've sort of... I've got to take every advantage do I you, can, mate. Do you, do you chalk up as well? <laughs> Let him know. No. But, no. Uh, yeah, look, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best and we'll have a great day. It's going to be an amazing day today. Yeah. It's, uh, it's probably the, the pinnacle day. Uh, tomorrow, uh, again, we might just whip up the schedule. Yeah, please do. Uh, and we'll show off tomorrow. Uh, but this button here. A lot of backdrops out there this year. There's yeah. a few. There's a few backdrops so have started to started to sort of land on Australian shores a bit more. Yeah. So our schedule, uh, you can see we have uh, day three. The, the amazing paint lesson with Dave Colwell and yourself. Andrew, yes, indeed. And we will also have our stream chat vote award. So actually, while we're here, let's talk about the stream voted award and specifically what we're going to do with it. So. Uh, we're, we're, we're building the plane as we're flying, I like to say. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, making, we're making good decisions as we're going. 
Uh, we will select 10 models mm. uh, on Sunday morning that we will put up for display for the stream chat to vote on. Mm -hmm. um, we will have uh, a straw poll, so we will showcase all 10 models and you will then get to select your favourite and we will cycle through them. We will make sure that everyone gets a great opportunity to look at each of the models uh, and then we will probably put them all on a on a stand and you can look at them all yourself. But mm -hmm. you'll then get to vote on a straw poll to determine who wins that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, which we look forward to. We look forward to hearing what you what you all like out there. Um, who knows if that's going to work? We're going we're gonna to find out. <laughs> look, we wing it. That's what we do. We like to throw a lot of shit at the wall and see what sticks. We do, we do. And so far, a lot's stuck. There's so plenty of shit sticking all over the walls. There is, there is. Uh, I mean, another exciting thing, do we want to talk about? What you managed to secure? No, not, no? Yet, not yet, no. No, no. all. Oh. So, so that's, that's going to... That's very exciting news what it is, but it's gonna, you're going to have to wait. No, so I've, I've, got my, I've, got my, uh, I've got my notes for tomorrow's uh, uh, presentation yeah, ceremony excellent, already. Excellent, And it's, it's going to be a big announcement. It's a big announcement. It's, so no one has given. It's going to disappoint a lot of people, but it's a huge announcement for Big Dinner. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a very uh, passionate. It's something I've been working forward for years. Uh, yeah, it has. The gates have been oh, opened. Oh, the floodgates. Yeah. So uh, it's very exciting for us, and very exciting for our Australian miniature painting. Yeah, we should talk scene. to Bunny. We haven't talked to Bun. Yeah, we can talk to Bun at some point. Bun, Bun, actually, I'll tell you something. Yesterday, Bunny, arguably. Hardest working woman in the room. Hardest working woman in the room yesterday. All, all four foot nothing of she's her. Got, she's got short legs and mm. she was clumping around all day on her feet the whole day. Grabbing Running models, miniatures. Helping people. She did a fantastic job. So one of the hardest jobs we actually have here is uh, is ferrying for mm. photos. It's mm. a tough gig to ferry tough for gig. photos. It's even tougher when we go numerically. And this year we decided to go numerically. Um, Finding those models out on those racks when there's 250 of them and you're looking for uh, 198. Yeah, and certain <laughs> people certainly were not putting them in a numerical location. Big Dale no. was just dropping them wherever he wanted, making life harder for everyone. Mm. So mm. anyway, let's... Uh, so thanks to her. Thanks, thanks Bun. Yeah. We're, you're, you're a legend. We'll talk to Bun later. We will, actually. we will. We, we, haven't, we haven't had a chat to her. Yeah. I don't think we've ever had a chat to her on stream, actually. Uh, no, we haven't. Um, we'll At see all. how she feels about it. If she wants to come in, she can. She's a quiet achiever as well. She likes to keep her head down and get about it. But also, it's bum. So you never know what you're going to get. She's a loose cannon. She is a loose cannon. So anyway, we're going to we're going to wrap up. You're for... all amazing. Bucks will be back very soon. We'll Talking be back very some, soon. I'm going to bring in I'm going to bring in Benny and I'm going to bring in Liam. Wonderful. Let's go. Peace out. Peace.